gonna be alright, we gon' be major. What's up, guys? What's up? Um, we're back again. More than a voice. MTV yes, sir. With the vibes, with the vibes. Uh, my name is Brandon B. Major. We are here at Self Made Studios. Y'all see the logo on the back. Doing the thing. To my left, we got... You should boy Champagne J. Yes, you know sir. who it is. Mm-hmm. To my right, we got a special guest today. Let me get a little drum roll. I don't know if we have a little drum roll thing in here. Ah. <laughs> The one, on? only, the, the one and only. The one and only. What's going on, man? It's your boy Legend. You know, we out here at Self Made hey. Studios in Pomona, California. Beautiful yes, neighborhood. Yes, here we are. Here we are. Let's make history today, fellas. That's, that's, okay, that's really okay. the goal every day is to make hey, history. I love that. That's yeah. to make history. I so, love that. Legend, uh, before we start, I do want to just say, like, we appreciate having you on the show, bro. Like, uh, you already know we're, this is this is my brother right here. We man, Absolutely. thank you for having from, me, bro. It's, from from interesting beginnings, we we became <laughs> the best of friends. Let so. me just say, I'm I'm very proud of how far you've come. <sighs> very proud of seeing you like this and your growth and and for you having me here, man, and watching this grow after this. It's it's a, it's a pleasure to be here, bro. Thank you. Thank you, man. I definitely appreciate that. I definitely appreciate that. And it definitely goes vice versa. You know, yeah. definitely. Um, so, Legend, go ahead and tell us about yourself, my guy. I know that you're one of the dopest artists out there. I know you're a dope guy, um, great family man, great businessman, great all-around person. Um, but for those who don't know, um, a, a literal legend within the city of Pomona, this, just L-A-I-E all together, bro. Just a, just a legend out here. So man, go ahead and tell us who you are, my guy. Well, my name's Legend. Um, I've been making music my whole life, involved in music my whole life, worked with your favorite artists everywhere, have had the privilege of <laughs> opening up shows with your favorite artists. Um, I've been in love with music my whole life, man, and it's yeah. taken me places I never thought I'd been, had me working with people I never thought I would. And um, yeah, we we uh, thrive off our gifts that God gave us. In Spanish, we call it el don. El that don? God gave you, yeah, el don, no un don that God gave you, you know. Okay, so, okay, okay. I'm gonna say as I grow, you know, the the music evolves, it changes. So I grow and I, I change with it. And um, yeah, uh, I, I've been uh, I've been having a hard time trying to understand this gift that I got, you know, right. and uh, what I'm supposed to do with it. Mm -hmm. um, I wake up every morning, I can't stop thinking about it. I can't let it go. It's mm -hmm. not something that is. Uh, it's like an ex-girlfriend or something where you just wake up one morning and you stop thinking about her. You know what I'm saying? It's just something like it's obsessively stuck in me. Mm -hmm. um, and, and it's been a big blessing, man. It's, it's, it's had me travel all across the states. And um, yeah, man, I, I'm a business owner. I own two businesses, mechanic shop, a trucking company. Um, I make clothes. I do music. I raise my children. I love to cook. And uh, yeah, man, that's me. That's legend, man. <laughs> That's awesome. That sounds that's awesome. like a lot, bro. Yeah. Let me tell you, it sounds that's, like a that's lot. That's awesome, though. Sounds like a lot. Um, my guy, like, when did you realize like music was was it and music was like life? You do that. You essentially do this full time, almost, right? Um. Well, at, at one point you were doing this completely full time. Well, right? you know what? I do everything full time. It's never been a schedule. Mm. I, I, I've been. Uh, I, I run my trucking company right now. Mm -hmm. I, I I got the mechanic mm -hmm. shop open right now. Um. And I'm always making music. At any right. point in time where inspiration kicks in, I'm mm -hmm. just always making music. And I think I've been doing it. I was in second grade where I remember there was like a whole mariachi thing <laughs> in front of everybody. And they were like, oh, who wants to come up and sing? <laughs> and some in my spirit told me to raise my hand. They called me up. And I remember being in second grade performing in front of the whole elementary school. And then I was just like, man, that's... This, felt, this feels cool. This feels good. Right. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, it kind of feels like home. <laughs> yeah. And uh, yeah. since second grade, man, and my, my parents used to argue a lot, bro. Mm -hmm. um, they used to fuck each other up. Yeah. And um, I think the only way I was able to block that out as a kid, you know, mm -hmm. we didn't have phones back in the day. Um, I was born in 1991. So I would just play beats and listen to music and write and try to block them out with mm -hmm. earphones and... and People always ask me who taught you how to write songs or what inspired you writing songs. Like I was just literally writing to keep that noise out of my head. And as yeah. I grew, it was just a gateway to right. to get out of that 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 way. Yeah, right, right, right. That's fire. I think um, a lot of people think music is all fun and games a lot of time. But for me, being as as an engineer and a producer, I see a lot of of things when it comes to artistry. Like your music is literally you. Right. Like that's literally yourself on a canvas 24-7. Mm -hmm. um, and I know listening from your music, that's exactly what you put out, bro. But it also makes it the most relatable. Thanks, man. And hands down makes it the most relatable, man. I appreciate so, that. But that's fire. So I know um, 
back back in the day. What what was it? Charm? Yeah, man. <laughs> I I um I was in a group called Young Charmers. Um, Young Charmers. Okay. I was the only. His- I didn't know that part. Yeah, I was only I was only Hispanic guy in it, and I was in a very uh, racial school where it's like there was Southsiders. Mm. Um, black people mm. and you know Asians even had their own thing and me I was always with everybody bro mm. you know what I mean um, I, I'm from Pomona where elementary schools is just every race you yeah, know right. so that when part. I got to that school I was I never picked a side bro so I used to get down with Southsiders who would get down with black people because they'd be like what's up what the fuck mm-hmm. you doing boom 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 mm-hmm. so I ended up being in an all black group and I was only Hispanic and they were all charmers it was Prince Charm King Charm <laughs> All different charms, and they were like, "This dude has to be a charm too." Yeah, I know. And I was like, "Well, let's go with Charm the Legend." And they're like, "That's hard, you know." They were probably like, "Dang, why did he pick the best name?" Like, bro, like, bro, I got to see the best charmer. <laughs> it, we just brought him in. Let's kick him out. Fuck, like, man. <laughs> and he's Hispanic. What the fuck are we doing? You know. <laughs> oh, yeah. So um, yeah, I just stuck with that, bro. Charm the Legend was just uh, the women loved it. Um, they were like, "Charm the Legend <laughs> sounds so cute," you know what I'm saying? And I was just like, "Man, okay." But as I started growing, like I started working with like Psycho Realm, mm-hmm. and they were like, "Bro, we got to get rid of the charm." You know, and then they're like, just do legend, just do legend. And then everyone calls me that's legend. But I literally only picked the that's because it was the only available name on Instagram. <laughs> I feel that. If I, if I just put legend, uh, it, w- it, it was already it was, taken. Yeah, yeah. But it worked to my benefit because mm-hmm. if you look up on Google, you type in T-H-A-S legend. I'm on the first 36 pages. Yep. Hey, that's fine. Yep. And, and if you if you type in legend, you got mm-hmm. Will Smith coming up, <laughs> yeah. Kobe coming up. Yeah. You fucking got, real like actual, actual just the legend. word legend yeah, yeah, yeah. so in the end you know god always does it you know he's right. just like go with the that's but i uh, I, I definitely uh, didn't pick that on purpose like oh that's like, <laughs> that wasn't how it went i'm not gonna do that let's do, let's let's do that like you know so then you hear you hear like the people who don't want to call me legend because it's like i'm not gonna call him like, hey that's and i'm like what 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 come on come on now what are you, you know doing? damn well that doing? sounds wrong coming out yeah. your mouth said but only my homies call me that <laughs> <laughs> only my dog only my dog nah but everyone's like you know my, my people be like, hey you're legend you're legend you're legend yeah. you know and and um but that's the story on, on the name, man. That's yeah. fire, bro. That's, that's yeah, fire. Right? Not, not the best. Instagram, I feel like it's changed so many different people's names. Like, yeah. Like, I can't. Like, I can't. Sorry, this is not available. Would you no. like to do... <laughs> it's, like, it's like, no, I wouldn't want to do any of those. Like, I just want what I typed in. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just have that name? Yeah, like, nah, 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 bro, nah. You have to change I'm going to tell you you're going to be the best. Like, <laughs> the internet will decide man. for you. Oh man, That's what a world tough. we live in, man. So, um, at one point, were you on a TV show? Did I did I hear that? Back, yeah, back man. Um, you know, uh, another blessing, bro. Uh, I got hit up by this company who told me they were doing a show with P Diddy, DJ Khaled, mm. um, and a couple of other artists that that were, um, you know. But it was a commercial. They they were like, oh, you know, there's gonna be a contest, but we don't want you in the contest. We just want you on a commercial. Mm-hmm. And it was a very well paid commercial, yeah. and um, <laughs> with it, P Diddy and DJ yeah, Khaled. I would hope so. I would hope it's a very well paid commercial. I had no <laughs> idea I was going to actually be performing in front of them. You oh, know? that's crazy! But so they could catch footage of the audience, you yeah. know, uh, just uh, pre excitement for the people who were watching, right. you know. Um, and I invited my parents one day because they told me they were like, my parents had never seen me perform, mm-hmm. and they were like. Oh, you know, tomorrow you're gonna be performing in front of P Diddy, DJ Khaled, and boom, boom, boom. I was like, what? They're like, yeah, like they, they, we need reactions from them and from everything. And long story short, man, it was a packed out thing. Khaled was like, what's your Instagram? Boom, boom, boom. Like, like after I performed, it was mm-hmm. awesome, bro. It was amazing. I got a standing ovation from them, and then like That's I dedicated awesome. the performance to my parents. I was like, I know this is a commercial or whatever, but you know, this is the first time my parents actually seen me perform. Wow. And I said, um, that's them right there, boom, boom. So they all stood up, and I did not expect mm-hmm. that. And they were, I was just started clapping towards it. My mom's just like, what the fuck? This is yeah. what my kids doing? Yeah, like, yeah. I was every, all the time. She's like, oh, I, I, my son makes music, and then like you know, my son makes music, but you know, she would always hit me up, tripped out. She'd be like. I was at Costco today and <laughs> there was a kid trying to sell his music and I told them that you give your music out for free. And then they asked me, who's your son? And, you know, I told them Legend. You know, That's Legend's your son? And then they all helped me with my groceries to the car. Me, like, what's going on? You know, like, <laughs> hey, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah so, so that's little, wild. little things that would just be that's like, wild. but that was the fucking nail in the coffin when she, so she called me that day. Mm-hmm. And she was like, I just wanted to apologize to you. Because I never knew that this is 
this is what was happening and this is what yeah. you're doing, you know? And she had no idea who PD or DJ Khaled was, yeah. but she mm. did see a whole place give them a standing mm. ovation. Right. And, and, and that's what the what the shocker was to them. So, yeah, music's done some miracles and, yeah. and beauty, beautiful memories in my life. That's man. man, oh man. That story that's is actually truly dope amazing. as hell, bro. Yeah. I'm not even gonna hold <laughs> <laughs> That's great. I actually I've never known the true story behind the TV show and everything like yeah, that, or man. the commercial and everything. So yeah, it's dope to dope to hear it and learn about it. I can't even hold you. Yeah, yeah man, like, just a commercial that turned yeah. into a blessing, bro. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. that exposure is is dope. I think I, I feel like Legend as an artist, um, you are literally probably one of the most genuine individuals that I've met in the industry. Thank you, man. And I feel like genuine things happen for genuine people. Definitely. So, so like you mm-hmm. say, like, oh yeah, this happened. This was a blessing. This happened. And this was a blessing. It was like, yo, like you put in, um, almost like you put in your genuine work to get genuine outcomes. Definitely. Like, 24/7. Yeah, right. like, and I, I never, I never, um, I know it's all God. Facts. Facts. And, Facts. And, and and everything is all. I, even when I write, I'll be like, man, I don't know where this is coming from, bro. Mm-hmm. But this sounds awesome, mm-hmm. you know. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it's it's. Uh, I think that's because um, I never I never fail to forget that, you yeah. know. And I never feel like ah, it's because of me. Like mm-hmm. nah, bro, definitely isn't. Right. Yeah. And I never cease to forget that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, that's mm-hmm. that's something that I always like try and look or try to remind myself of is like. Whatever energy you put out into the world, that energy is gonna come right back to you mm-hmm. in a greater form. So ten, like ten you always, it's always important to always do the right thing, even when nobody's looking. Or right. Whatever your heart's telling you to do, just like follow that passion and just continue to do it. It may seem wrong to everybody else, mm-hmm. and you're gonna have moments like that. But as long as it feels right to you, then that's all that matters. And like um, just continuing to do that, and like I've only seen positive things come back from that. Legends only seen positive things come back from sure. that, you know. Yeah. So like, it, your energy and the the way that you carry yourself and the things that you do for others, even when you like don't have to, don't mm. expect anything in return. Like that goes a long way. Yeah, and it's yeah. I feel like that. It doesn't even matter what industry you're in. It doesn't no. matter what you're doing. Like that's just life. It, part it, of being a is, human, bro. Part life, of being a human, like, bro. If, if you're living yeah. right and like treating people right, like life will treat you right god exactly. will treat you right doors will start to open for you because mm-hmm. it's like yo like you know positivity is that key i've like, always said this too man i think life is the biggest snitch and what what i mean by that is that's deep. I already said that's it. deep I, yeah, yeah you like said that. it i got I like you, that. Yeah. Go you ahead, know, because good things happen yeah. to good people mm-hmm. my right. boy right. and and you could tell who's a who's a piece of shit <laughs> like yeah no bro facts. i'm pretty yeah. sure i know why that happened to you right. yeah. you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. and and i, I i'm like there are days, bro, where I, I've lived in my car. There are days where I've been in million dollar homes. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But I still always walk with faith and I still understood that when I was selfish, life was selfish with me. Mm-hmm. And when I was given, life was 10 mm-hmm. times in full. Yeah. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 yeah, and to add to that too, that's like for people that um, you know the term or the phrase like bad things like happen to good people. Like, I feel like not necessarily. I feel like maybe in that moment it's a bad thing, mm-hmm. but later on down the line, the good thing is what's actually right. waiting for you. You didn't need whatever that bad. You didn't mm-hmm. need whatever that was at that time. Like you just had to wait it out and get to where life was gonna actually make a turn for right turn right. for the better. I think it's all perspective. Like yeah, sometimes you you're looking at the negative. Like oh, I can't believe this just happened mm-hmm. to me. And sometimes you got to sit and say, okay, why did it happen? What's next? Like, right. Right. <laughs> literally, mm-hmm. like, sometimes if I'm, I used to be late to work, and I'm like, damn, why am I about to be late to work? This makes no sense. I was up early. Like, I, how did I, how did this happen? Mm-hmm. And then I get on the freeway and there's an accident. And I'm like, shit, that could have been me if I, if I was on it's time. You, right. like, exactly. And I said, I'm like, okay, like, that was a Maybe blessing it was to a, yeah. every single time. So, like, to, to add on to that, here's a trippy story. Mm-hmm. Um, I got locked up for robbing houses. I used mm-hmm. to burglarize houses. Not proud of it. Bad times in my life, right? But God knew I still had a good heart. Mm-hmm. And the reason why I was doing it was for necessity. I had my firstborn. Mm-hmm. And um, I was a kid having a kid. Long story short, I ended up being in jail. And I was like, why the fuck am I here, man? Like, mm-hmm. Why am I wasting my life here, right? So then what did God do? Um, I ended up being, I was still already starting to do shows there, right? And I was going to get out like in two months. And there was a guy there who had a Psycho Realm tattoo on his arm. Mm-hmm. And I was like, hey, you like Psycho Realm? And he's like, yeah, I fuck with him. And I was just like, yeah, man, I got a show with them as soon as I get out. Mm-hmm. I was like, I'll give you some tickets. And he was just like, I'll probably see you there. And I was like, you probably see me there. What? And, and then I was just like, <laughs> so then when I got out and I went to go do the show, mm-hmm. 
that was Psycho Realm, my boy Sick Jacket's brother. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah. So then when Literally, I what are the whew, odds? When I it, seen him there, yeah. I was like, bro, you're here? He's like, oh, let me introduce you to my brother. And I was just like, who's your brother? And then he introduced me to Sick Jack. He's like, and then it was the main act. And I was like, what the fuck? And he was like, yeah. Mm. So then Sick Jack is like, yeah, I heard you were in there locked up with my brother. And I was like, yeah. He's like, oh, for sure, for sure. Boom, boom, we chopped it up. And years later, we have a song that has like, what, 16 million views online. You know, it's called The Life. Yeah, That's but, crazy. Yeah. Purpose cannot be denied. No. Bro. And no. your fate. Like, it, it, no. Fate is fate, Papa. Yeah, you know what bro, I'm saying? Like, fate is fate. Who you mm-hmm. run into is on purpose. Yeah. Even us here, bro. Definitely. Bro, we, you could even fuck. You can bro. T- that story right there in general. <laughs> but for, for That's crazy. The way me and Legend met is literally crazy. I don't know if Justin, I told you no. the story. But essentially, someone brought us in, um, brought me as, a, as an engineer and saying, yo, bro, like, I know you're a dope engineer. You're a dope producer. Can you produce for this kid? Like, mm-hmm. all right, cool. Go ahead and do that. That'd be dope. I was like, all right, cool. No problem. Like, can the guy rap? And he was like, nah, not really. But like, we're going to teach him how to rap. And I was like, you want me to teach this guy how to rap and, and really do everything for him like that? Mm-hmm. He's like, yeah, bro. Like, we got it. We got it. So then he came in the next day and was like, yo, bro, like, I got another guy I'm going to bring in. And re- to he, rap for him. To, he was like, I'm, he's going to rap for him. He was like, Legend's cool, but like, I think this guy has a better face and he can be the better yeah. face for what we're trying to do. So Legend's going to write everything for him. He's going to take some of Legend's old songs that didn't pop that much and going to and gonna redo them. And I was like, yo, bro, like, this seems so That's strange. That's wild. This is not okay. Not okay. <laughs> Mind you, I'm, I'm fresh in the industry. I'm yeah. fresh doing music. Like, okay. I, so, well, yeah, you don't know any better. You're I don't like, know any better. Okay, like, yeah, all right, sure. bro. Let's so see what happens. We, we yeah. sat down in a meeting. Me, Legend, this guy uh-huh. <laughs> and, and the artist and we're like okay like cool so like what's up like and he broke down the entire deal and legend literally stopped this is one of those those moments that i was that i looked at legend like yo bro like he's someone that's gonna stand on his word and and stand on facts and truth like yeah. hands down no matter what mm-hmm. so legend literally looked and was like yo bro like that doesn't even make sense he was like money wise and financially like forget me how are you gonna pay b b you're not even giving b the right stuff and i was like I literally looked at Legend and was like, did you just vouch for me, bro? I don't even know you. Straight up. That's when we both bro. commonly looked at each bro. other. We're like, so we both are in an right. understanding that this is some bullshit. Yes. And, he, and then yes. the guy's trying to look at us like, this is going to work. Trust this me. Gonna work. Well, promise, he's going to pop off and I'm going to be able to pay you guys. And I was like, I'm out, bro. Yeah. Like, I'm cool. Le- Legend looked at me. He's like, yo, bro, like, you're dope as fuck. Like, talk to me after this because this isn't it. And that's why we're here, bro. Right. Me, I think after that, um, after that meeting, we talked in the parking lot till about five in the morning. Yeah. Just us two. We done had sessions in here where we even pray together, bro. Mm -hmm. Facts, Hey, that's dope. No, that's facts. Dope. It's just an enlightened, like, like, like we're just saying, fate is fate, energy is energy. And when, when like, I'm not even going to call it that, but when what's not supposed to be there isn't supposed to be there, Mm -hmm. it'll Mm -hmm. perish, bro. It'll perish. Easily. So can't, yeah. can't even hold on to that, bro. Like, mm-hmm. <laughs> but yeah, that that story in itself is like, man. That's it, it, exactly it's why he said, "Oh, here. do you remember old? No, nobody. We don't remember old. Dude. <laughs> He's nobody irrelevant. remembers old. Dude. He's irrelevant. Yeah, that whole story. That's man, crazy. That's crazy. So with with that, I, I feel like the industry as as a whole, the music industry is a pretty pretty crazy and, and can be pretty cutthroat and pretty fucked up. Right. Um, not even on that end, but what are some crazy stories you've heard or or been around? Or whether they be fun and like, yo, bro, like, this is crazy. I can't believe this happened. Or like, yo, bro, like, did you see that? Like, anything like that, my guy. Um, well, I used to um, be signed with Snoop's uh, manager. So me and Snoop had the same manager at a point. Mm-hmm. And um, I had a, a whole organization try to write for me and try to <sighs> tell, dictate how I should do music. Mm-hmm. And then I found out that this group of people, like if I don't, if I don't, if I don't vibe with you, I don't have to vibe with you. Right, right. We're and, not gonna force nothing, bro. And basically, this whole group of people were just like, no, do it like this or do this. Or like someone actually came into the booth. Like if I don't ask you to come into the booth and how to dictate something, don't do it. That's, yeah, that's a, that's disrespectful. Right. You know what I'm saying? And um, it got to a point where these same group of people. We're working on music that we all knew sounded like shit. <laughs> and I, we're like, when you play music that sounds like shit, you're all looking at each other like, I'm just like, why are we doing this? Yeah. What are you guys <laughs> listening to right now? You know? I know you heard that bar. Like, 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 what, what, what was it good? And they're like, oh, trust me, this is the first album we have to put out. Boom, 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 boom. And then I would have, I would be in multi million dollar studios. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right? Making $2 music. That's and I was like, crazy. what is this, bro? To, to one of them, to where I was just like, no, I don't want to do it like that, bro. Yeah. I don't want to do it like that. And they're like, well, 
What's his face? Don't even like this whole album. He don't even like. He don't. He don't even think you dope. And my son was in the in the studio that day. Yeah. And I was like, Oh, is that what he thinks? That's crazy. I said, Guess what? You fired. I called my. I said, Everybody's fired. Mm-hmm. All of you guys are fired. Yeah. And they're like, Where's this coming from? Don't matter where it's coming. Everyone's fired. I don't want to work with you. I don't. Then I called. Yeah. Which was damn, I'm name dropping. I know. <laughs> we can bleep that out. We can bleep that out. We can bleep that out. Then I call. Then I call the manager at the time, and he's like, "Yo, what's going on?" I said, "I fired everybody mm-hmm. because I'm the man. Right. I'm the cocaine. I'm the product, right. and I'm gonna keep on producing and keep on making. And y'all, you there's no, you can't go find another supplier. Mm-hmm. So I said, we either gonna do what I'm gonna do, or you can let me go, and I could keep going about my way. Right. And he said, well. I'm going to roll with you. Sheesh. Ended up, I, I remade the whole album, put my boys on, put my producers on. Mm-hmm. Make $5,000 a month off that shit. Sheesh. But imagine yes, imagine if I was if I would have made that piece of shit album. No, for real. They would have destructed me mm-hmm. yeah. and would have been happy about it. Yeah. that's. I feel like that happens to so many artists, though. Like, yeah. that's literally like, every um, day. That's like what... Um, Black was saying in his first album. If you remember his first album, oh, when he was talking about the like, last, I, I make the what very they last make. song. Yeah, right. he's like, "It's not me. It's gonna change who I am. It's not right. gonna be. I'm not gonna be me to like my fans and mm. my true supporting." And it's just like That's facts, bro. Yeah, and it's it's. I actually applaud you because not a lot of people. I f- at least I feel like not a lot of people sometimes when they get faced with that type of opportunity and that type of. I don't want to say substance, but you know, I'll say what opportunities like. It's hard to turn that away and right. to follow. What you know in your heart is right. So I, I think it's 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 pretty scary. Like yeah. being, uh, especially like I don't know if it was your first opportunity being in like something bigger like that or or in mm-hmm. that situation. But it's like for for a lot of the young ones and a lot of people upcoming in music, you don't really know the back end or the, the, the right. side deals or or like what percentage this is. So it's like yeah. yo, bro, like they're telling me to make music like this. All right, well, they must know what they're doing. Like, I know it doesn't feel right to right. me, but I guess I'll just like stick with it for now. Like, they go with their experience, bro, right. go, And it, that just goes back to to God, bro. I've been, right. I've been, I've been signed to Dipset, bro. Mm-hmm. I've been signed to the Outlaws. Dipset, yeah, bro. Dipset, <laughs> Dipset West, bro. I've been signed to the Outlaws with EDI I Mean, bro. Uh, recording with Tupac's engineers, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, and I got songs with them, bro, about police and blah blah blah, and like these are they're like, okay, we're gonna make a song about p- police brutality. I was like, let's do it, right. let's fucking do it, run it up, yeah. you know. Yeah. And and because we both suffer from that, right. Hispanic people, black people, boom boom boom. Mm-hmm. So, um, I've even worked with LMFAO. You could go online, look up I, Red oh, Fool, yeah. Red Fool, and that's legend, man. Mm-hmm. And, and, and it's just like life was always just bringing it to me. Yeah, mm-hmm. like fool, you can't escape fate, bro. Yeah. It's it's like an yeah. I, no. I never I never asked to be famous. I never my my goal here as an artist is to change people's lives, bro. Mm-hmm. And and whether if it's in the masses or whether in the small, I didn't had people call me and be like, bro, you didn't save my life, bro. You don't like mm. full on paragraphs. Like I was literally about yeah. to kill mm-hmm. myself. Boy, yeah. I had a wife, a wife call me and say, "Can I get tickets to your show? Because my fiance won't marry me until I get you. If I get tickets to your show, I said you lying right now. That's, That's a crazy. lie. I don't want to hear. Here's crazy. the tickets. <laughs> here's, here's the tickets. Here's the tickets. Because it was a great lie. Oh my <laughs> like, god. And she got I married. She got married I, yeah. like like four months later, bro. Oh, you know what I'm saying? And and like yeah. I know, I know what my reason is to be alive. I know why I'm here. I know why I make music, regardless if it's the the whatever it's for, man. It's, it's been such a pleasure to just do what God has sent me to do, bro. Right. Mm-hmm. And regardless if people have acknowledged it or whatever private stories I have, it's always just a trip waking mm-hmm. up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and yeah. but yeah. That's yeah, right. Yeah. I mean, I feel like that all goes back to the very first day, man. Genuine things happen for genuine oh, people. Yeah, like, definitely. Like, you, you will be blessed, hands down. Mm-hmm. Um, is there any advice you would give to a lot of the up-and-coming rappers and things like that? And, and anybody looking to get into music in any aspect? Yeah, pretend like there's nobody else in the world but you. Just pretend that there's nobody else in the world making music. Pretend that there's nobody. They Pretend that there's no social media. Mm-hmm. And, and wake up and do what you love to do. And pretend like there's no competition. Pretend like you're the only one making music in the world and you have a message to give to people and there's nobody else talking. Like if the world was mute and then see what you put out. Mm-hmm. Dang. Even I took that in for a second. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no, but that's 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 facts. I think so so often 
um, especially in today's age with social media and like everything like that, it's so easy to look at the next person and be like, yo, like, well, shit, if their shit sounds like that, I got to make some shit that sounds almost like that, too. Right. Um, and hop on a trend, hop and, on a wave. And hop on a trend, hop Instead on a wave. Trying to stand out Everybody want to be the next yeah. Drake with the, with the dance hall and things like that. Like, mm. nah, bro, like what's what's in your heart is supposed to come out. Right. Like it's that's literally what your art is meant to yeah. be. Like Just tell your story at the end. Of the if day. you're supposed to be Hennessy, bro, you're supposed to be Hennessy. Why the mm-hmm. fuck would you be putting vodka in there? Why would you? Yeah. Do that? You know what I'm saying? Or some why tequila in there? Because B major loves I tequila. Love tequila. Love tequila. <laughs> <laughs> tequila. <laughs> if you want to bring me any gift? <laughs> he said a bottle. Of bring a gift to the podcast. Right. This is for anyone else watching. Make sure you bring something here and leave Ooh, it here as a memorable thing. We're gonna start something. We love that. I started that. There we go. I'm gonna leave a business card. We appreciate that. I'm going to oh, put it right, right here, yeah. bro. No, yeah. You know why oh, he brought man. that? So you guys could bring some too. <laughs> We're going to ask questions about it every time. Oh, oh, man. This episode of More Than a Voice is sponsored by First Team Only. Aim to be the best at whatever you do in life. Second place is not an option. So legend, bro. We see that today you got a film crew with you. Um, yeah, man. You tell um, us a little more about that. What's this going my on? boy, no such thing, aka uh, real name Alex. You see how I did that backwards? Um, <laughs> he is literally been in my career for I think almost what five years. Five years we've been working together, and um, yeah, man, he's been a real big blessing. He's a real entrepreneur. He's actually in a lot of parts of the industry. Do you mind me saying all of them? He, he he does a lot of campaigning for Pornhub. Uh, he does and and but in the weed industry, so he gets like uh, models and he that's he, dope, he, he in, no, that's fire. Yeah, exactly. And then um, he started a new campaign called No Strangers, and um, I'm one of the first artists he's working with. He also has other artists he's working with, but he's literally a man of all crafts, very talented. His his lens game is crazy, and uh, yeah, man, it's always a pleasure to have like you know people like you or people like him. Um, hit me up and be like, yo, bro, I want to have a day in the life of, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And, and exactly. because we know That's how hard. hard, we know how hard we work. We know what we do, even though there's not a thousand or a million people watching. Um, it'll get there, you know, you, st- you and, and we both know, we both know what, what kind of seeds we water. And that's why like, uh, you know, yesterday we did some filming of my kids and then my, at the barbershop, you know, we're going to do the trucking company. We're doing some of this. And, you know, I'm mainly it's going to get down to this album I'm releasing called Todo Con Dios. Okay. When's that um, release? Uh, know yet? Any date set? I like to I like to drop albums on my birthday as a cheat code so I can make the mm. most amount of money. <laughs> and um, yeah, that's what I do, man. <laughs> it's my birthday in the album drive. Oh my god, we gotta give you a present. Yeah, like, so, we gotta go stream now. For yeah. your birthday, we're gonna stream the whole thing. Yeah. Like. Yeah. 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 So no yeah. strangers, no strangers is is uh, this new campaign um, uh, that 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 we're doing this documentary on. And and yeah, man, it's uh it's my boy Alex is uh. Thanks. That's pretty dope. That's pretty dope. Sure. Yeah, sure. It reminds me of uh, who is that? Kanye and uh, Cootie. Oh yeah, yeah. Did you yeah. see that? That was bro. The documentary. Did Did you not see the documentary on that's Netflix? The Kanye God documentary. Yeah. Genius. Watching Kanye and his mom, man. I, oh, oh, yeah. bro, I no, heard it was good real. though. You it's have to watch it. Bro, it's yeah, phenomenal. phenomenal. Nah, Literally no. phenomenal, bro. I'm yeah. surprised it doesn't I've, have any award. No, it really should. Heard great things, yeah. It really should. If you haven't watched it, if you're listening, if you haven't watched it, stop what you're doing. Yeah. Don't, don't stop what you're doing. Watch Wait that. till the end of this yeah. and then go Fetch. watch it. Watch oh, well, he first. said to stop what we're... <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no. The only reason that. you can stop this podcast is if you got to use the bathroom, you're about to like the video, or you're subscribing to the channel. Yeah, that's the only reason. Subscribe. If you have any other reason, don't do it. More than a voice. More than a voice. There we go. There we go. But yeah, that documentary was dope. And I'm sure this was going to be just as fire, bro. Just as fire. Thanks, man. Legend, how's it uh, networking in the industry? I think this is another person that you've you've met. Like, Oh, yeah. Um, you know, networking in the industry, I, I get best of both worlds. You know, mm-hmm. I, I, either, I either run into someone amazing or someone amazing runs into me. But, um, man. That's fire. I, I, <laughs> right. I net, net, run into people like you. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just a magnet to all beautiful, amazing things, <laughs> man. Literally, <laughs> to money, that, love. I live a very, very fortunate life with the grace of God, bro. Yeah. I can't tell you enough. I feel like networking is one of those things that people like forget to do and don't put as much mm-hmm. effort into. Yeah. When it literally can change your life. I one, literally... One relationship can be... I'm like, walking up to mm-hmm. strangers at bars. I don't care if you're a up. truck driver, a fat person, skinny person, what ethnicity, or, or you have a suit on, you're homeless. I don't mm-hmm. care. You're mm-hmm. a human being. 
this is what I do. This is who I am. You right. know what I'm saying? Right, right. Even even when I was younger, man, someone commented on one of my videos like, "Hey, man, you sold me a bike back in the day." <laughs> <laughs> You still doing the music thing, man? That's dope. That's crazy. <laughs> you sold me a bike. I was like, when the fuck was I selling a bike? Did that sell bikes, I'd be bro. having what? hard times <laughs> too, man. <laughs> I wonder if I stole that bike. <laughs> How old was I? Yeah. What happened? I was just like, be like, man, thank God I'm not there <laughs> no said, more. He said, only if you knew where I got that bike from. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. I hope it worked. Like, <laughs> That shit had no chain. No chain, oh, bro. Man. Back tire was flat, bro. Oh, bro. Want this bike for I, I was, five? That was Debo's bike, bro. <laughs> that was, not Debo's bike. What bike? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right, Legend. So, this is the first time oh, ever. about to do it? Yeah. Uh-oh. Ever. First time on, ever. On, on More Than A Voice. Oh, We're about God. to do uh, a little something, something we call a little amazing, a little freestyle. I hope it's a B oh. major me. Ah. Uh, it might be. I, I don't hope know yet. Don't, don't tell nobody. I, I hope it's a B major B too. <laughs> I hear that guy's pretty uh, pretty shifty with the Bro. keys. That guy, he's all right. <laughs> Stop <laughs> playing with him. Stop. <laughs> Put some respect on his name, okay? Stop respect it. Respect on his name. This is where oh, I would man. press the button. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> If you guys don't know, Legend's pretty upset that we don't have a dan dan dan. Extremely. I, I literally almost yeah. installed an app to make it. <laughs> <laughs> what in the capture that? That's uh, funny. But now we're about to do a little freestyle with Legend today. So I'm going to hit the beat. Yeah. You go as for as long as you feel like. If you want to do okay. the whole beat, you don't want to do the whole beat. You want to do. It's got to be over five seconds, though. Okay. Don't, don't give me like cat in a hat. Like. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. So we're going to get it. <laughs> he, said, he said redfish, blue fish. Redfish, blue fish, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> two <Let's> fish. <laughs> Not two of them, bro. Oh, man. So let's hear this B major beat. You want me to give you a little preview of the beat first? And no, then we'll let jump? that shit drive, oh. bro. Come on, man. Hey. <laughs> give me right. what he wants. Well, y'all y'all here for the very first. We're making history today. That's the goal. I'm excited. Like we said so, in the beginning. Yeah. Hey, legend spoke it into existence. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's turn off the mic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I, you sure you want me to be the first one on here? <laughs> I apologize to everybody coming after. Mm. Oof. Oof. Drop it again, drop it again. Yeah. Again. You, can't, you can't let your shit skip I like know, that. Bro, I know, bro. What? To feel that money. I was, a, I was an accidental <laughs> DJ for the moment. <laughs> do your thing, legend. Okay. Let that, let that dry. Yeah, okay, God's will, yeah, I like that shit, uh, yeah, 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 yo, coming live from Southern California, uh, run up on you, uh, with some real or two-faced just to get they money, yeah, tad bit insecure, hard to go trust the soul, my intention's pure, if you from the slums and I rose from the soil, uh, obviously enlightened, my soul so connected, grew up round the violence, where sometimes I'm selfish, I can't even help it, uh, life is beautiful like roses, I prefer the daisies, I don't live for nobody's opinion, me, I still amaze me, uh, I can't make no art when I feel normal, I'm Vince Van Gogh crazy, if you can't feel my vision, then change your angle, Maybe breathe. I'm a fucking breath of fresh air. I'm that girl your girl say hi to with that undress me stare. You probably watch your homies fall like it's musical chairs. I'm the type to build mine up like fucking Legos in here. A leader thugging my whole life with nikes and wife beaters. Keep it cool with all my exes. Who knows? I might need them. Uh, Bellagio, Versace lenses, it's Bobby Legend. Ferragamo, SS and Wagyu. We talking M's, finances, assets, drive bys and drive throughs. Lion kick thug, still moving Zazu. Ooh, some shit. Uh. Is that cool? No, no. Uh. What's that cool? Excuse me. <laughs> was that cool? Excuse me, I do I need a win, 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 win. Man, 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 what? 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 Sorry, Let me bro. stop the beat. Hold up. Don't Wait. put in no B major Wait. beat, bro. Hey, that's crazy. The story don't just sound Wait. nice. That's crazy. Good looking, bro. Did you throw in Lion King and Zazu in oh, there, bro? I, I fucked up. Oh, hey, that uh, was hard. Bro, what? That was hard. What? I finished my coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I just want hey, you to know, bro. Hard. Any artist who watches this now is going to be like, yo, bro, it's at the I, bar. That's why like, I, yeah. I apologize oh. in advance. Oh, yeah, man. They like, they got, uh, my shit's written. It's written, bro. <laughs> Everybody else is coming on here with Blackberries for now. Oh, my. No. <laughs> Shout out to Drake. Like, <laughs> Drake with the Blackberries. They're going to hold it up like this. <laughs> exactly like. Oh, oh, the, hold the fuck up. Do you mind if I like? Bro, 
That was tough. Yeah. That was yeah, tough. Yeah, Hey, man, you know what? I, I'm telling you, I guess I'm supposed to be doing this for the rest of my life because I still I, get the same reactions everywhere I go, man. That's, you know, that's, that was that's scary. That, it's tough. all God, bro. Like I always that say it in the end. God wrote that, not me. Yeah, okay. Let him speak, man. I see you guy with the Zazu bars. I see. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Jeez. That's what man, I said. Man, man, that's crazy, bro. Yeah, that man. Hard. That nah, beat's yeah. crazy though. Thank let's you, let's I not let's it. not skip that part. <laughs> you know? That beat's crazy. It, I, honestly, it was probably just made just for you. That's what it was. Hey, let's go in there and record that. We're gonna have to, <laughs> after this, we're gonna record that. We're gonna we're gonna <laughs> yeah, knock that we're out. We're gonna run that one back. That's good. Yeah, y'all go hear that again for sure. Oh man. Oh man, Legend, you definitely just made some history here. Hey bro, I appreciate that shit. I do have some written shit for that Spanish beat though. I haven't tested it out, bro. You wanna test it out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I guess I'm, it's recorded. Hey, I'm here for it. <laughs> Let me see. I'm ready. Come on, you ready? Play that shit. Play that shit. Let me see if it sounds good. This is my first time doing it right here. Yeah. Yeah. No quiero pelear contigo. Mejor yo me agarro mis cosas, me voy. Si no, yo me doy un tiro. Respiro. Y le digo, tu reemplazo está afuera. Cuerpo de mesera. Hace lo que digo, me cocino culo fuera. Me la como todo entera. Mi tetona, mi lechera. Como. Ah. Fuck, I fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, I can't, I can't do it. Oh, yeah, that was too. Okay, I can't. Oh. Hey, I hey, fucked that it was up. Crazy. The freestyle was good, though. <laughs> that was good. You talk. No, that was That's crazy. We can't do the ratings. We can't do the ratings. I don't understand a word I didn't said. know what you were saying. But, but God damn. But God, this goes, bro. Yeah, this oh, goes. Oh, I want to get that shit down, bro, man. We gonna, we gonna no, that was, that, that was fire. Bro. Hey, bro, it's a, it takes a special individual to, to rap in different languages. Yeah, bro. man. It's crazy, like, too. Hey. You know what's crazy is writing that shit. Really? I'm just like, God damn. <laughs> I do this in Spanish, too? No me lo There's a lot of parts that have a lot of enthusiasm in yeah. it, and I was just like, oh, I'm thinking about it too much. <laughs> Dang. That's fire, bro. Yeah, that was, that was you're, you're different behind the mic. I yeah. will say that. Bro. Thank you, brother. No, no, absolutely. Present, Thank bro. you. No, I will you. agree. Yeah, man. Yeah. I like, I like, I like your guys' perspective change yeah. on things. You know what I'm saying? I'm just here to highlight and make us all grow in every mm -hmm. type of way. Yes. Whoever I work with or whoever I uh, join up with, I hope everyone feels the same way they, they that we feel when when we're doing it. Mm -hmm. Got you. Got oh, you, buddy. Man. Question. Yes. As an artist. We all got some people who have inspired us along the way. Who, who we look up to. Who we look up to. Who are some of your inspirations along the way? B Major is one of them for sure. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Honestly, bro, I'm just being real frank with you. I've been inspired by a lot of people, but obviously, what you want me to say? Tupac, Snoop, boom, boom, boom. Being inspired by the people that surround you is very important. Mm. And watching you grow this place, bro. Watching my boy Alex grow himself. You know what I'm saying? Watching my friends open barbershops. Um, watching the people that I surround myself with is very mm. inspirational, bro. It's very, I wake up in the morning and I say, how the hell can I quit? You know what I'm saying? Right. So that's Dang. that's not me trying that's, to be sweet to you, bro. That's nah, me being real you. frank. That's me being real frank to anyone that I work with. It is an inspiration to watch you guys do this. Mm -hmm. It is an inspiration to see you guys not quit in a world so saturated with what we do. And but of course, you know, there there are celebrities who inspire me and blah, blah, blah. But but it's 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 being inspired every day still mm -hmm. by people that I work with. Is the real inspiration. It's the real, like, dang, fool, you stopped and they didn't. You know what I'm saying? Right, like, yeah. And that's why I'll never stop because I know the people that I'm with that inspire me for real, for real. Mm -hmm. That's it's what it's bomb. about, bro. Yeah. yeah. It's... That's that's a whole different perspective of inspiration. Because mm -hmm. like you said, I think every time you ask somebody for an inspiration, they're giving you some old-time legends, yeah. somebody who X, Y, and yeah. Z. Right. Like, and how the much did they really get inspired by them? Right. You know what I'm saying? Oh, right. yeah, yeah. I just want to be like them. Like, nah, man. I, I feel like y'all don't want to be, you don't want to be like nobody. You don't, you like, you being your own person. I don't know no engineers, artists who run podcasts, bro. You that know? Part. And, and, yeah. and I don't yeah. I don't know no people who are in the porn industry, weed industry, uh, film industry, creation. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, get inspired, homie. You yeah, know what right. I'm saying? Where do your boundaries stop? Because I own a trucking company, a mechanic shop. I do music. I try to sell clothes. You know what I'm saying? Right. Do more, bro. Mm -hmm. I think that's my biggest message as a if you're watching this do more like if you in love with some fall in love with other things and do those <laughs> too you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. because you have to be yeah. a one-minded ass motherfucker to only do one thing right and yes. if you don't succeed in that one thing like that sucks yeah because right, 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 i mean right. you look at all the successful people they're not just successful in one aspect of their life look at even, shaq even exactly right. even athletes athletes they might be great at what they do right 
I'm gonna use LeBron as a prime example. He is a phenomenal basketball player, but he also has he owns he owns Blaze, right? I I think it I think, owns Blaze or owns like part of Blaze, yeah, something a like large that. Percent of but now he's also has it has his own tequila. Mm -hmm. Say Kevin Hart, amazing actor. Well, first amazing comedian to start, but then right. he got into acting. Great actor. Now he owns his own. He owns his own network, I believe. Bro, right. Bad so Bunny. Like, Bad Bunny's Bad a Bunny. fucking Bro. action yes. star Bro. now. Mm, facts. Yes, he is. Bro. He, what, he, what he was just started a movie. Uh, hasn't even came out yet. Yeah, I was, it was something. Okay, okay. Well, I'm, I'm just trying to get them Bad Bunny credits yeah, right now. <laughs> He's getting yeah. a song. You heard my Spanish, bro. Yeah, you you heard the Spanish. Get him get on that. a feature. Come on now. ASAP, bro. We need I'm that. I'm going to make that happen, bro. That's one of my manifestations. Yeah, we're going to put that into existence. We're going to look back on this podcast. No, for sure. Like, look, fool, I shouted you out way back right there. <laughs> I manifested that. Oh, man. But, but no, yeah, like, no, no successful person is only successful in one aspect of their life. They continue to grow. They continue to um, well, make themselves more well-rounded by getting involved in many other things. And I think a part of that goes back to the networking about the conversations and the company you keep and the people that you have around you and looking to them as inspiration, but also using that to just like further yourself and further right. your own personal growth at the same time. I feel like it's what we were created for. I, I don't think any one person was created to be like, this is your pigeonhole and you're stuck here and this is the mm -hmm. only thing you're ever going to do. Yeah. I feel like we we were all created for so much more. I literally tell myself that. I know you probably have probably see me write it everywhere. Like you were created for more. Yeah, like so, go and get it. it. Yeah. Literally, like go and get it. You were created to 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 do so much. Because what like, was that? It'd be um, disrespectful to just stop here and say oh, I'm gonna do music right. and music only. Like God, you bless me with so much more. But nah, bro, I'm good. Like yeah. I'm gonna just stop right here. Like it was a, a conversation we had like a few a while ago when you said I think we were talking about how you said you don't like when people say oh it's like you were born to do something. Mm -hmm. Because you said that kind of makes you feel limited. limited. Yeah, basically because it's like, dang, okay, I was born to do this. Okay, I guess I just gotta only do this. Right, like you were saying. So mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. that's more and limitless. Why, why, why put a box around something that wasn't meant to have a box? Mm, box around you know yourself. What I'm Literally, <laughs> like you can own, you can own three or four businesses. I mean, do it correctly. I'm not just saying go jump into everything right. and, and do it all do your crazy. Research, like do your research, research you jump save, into it, do it right, you invest properly. But, but there's no limit on what you can do and what you mm -mm. what you should do. Like the only limit is yourself. And right. Yeah. I can't wait. I can't wait till we we hit a place where like we see an artist that reminds of us of us. Right. And then be like, bring that ass right here. Come here. Let me <laughs> talk to you. Bro. Let me show you. Yeah. Let me talk to you. Let me make you skip a gang of hurdles. Yeah, right. That I right. Through, you know what right. I'm saying? I can't wait to do that, bro. Yeah. I, I always have this envision of just like even when I, whether I. I will pass where I think I'm going to reach mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. or I might even, ex I'm going to exceed it. Mm -hmm. But when I can meet someone who's young and just be like, man, I see you, I see me and you, bro. And, and, and I could, I could, I could take you places that and make decisions that I should have made. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. there's a lot of things I did in my life that, that, brought me back you know like yeah. drugs alcohol women you know mm -hmm. when they say you got to focus to get where you want to get it's yeah. a fucking fact bro you yeah. know and i had a lot of distractions i had kids early and and um but my kids were my biggest ambition you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying my kids were everything and um i just pray that we all go beyond measure i, I mm -hmm. uh, and we all exceed everything we want to do and leave a mark mm -hmm. that's the whole point you yeah. know to when i'm gone it's, it's like Look at how many people are important right now that aren't going to be embraced the way they should until they die. And we learned that with Kobe, you know what mm -hmm, I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. everybody loved Kobe already. Right. But when Kobe passed away, bro, I cried. Same. I cried, bro. Yeah. I grew up watching that, man. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So watching that taught me something like, man, maybe I'm not going to get my flowers now. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to make sense or my message is going to be delivered till my message is gone. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Till it's it not gone, but till I'm done talking. Mm -hmm. And then they're going to be like, holy shit. He had a lot yeah. to say. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. What yeah. what's what's something that you would like, or both of you, like what's what's something that you would like your um your legacy to speak of? Like what what do you want it to stand for? What do you want it to mean? Like Um, for me, it's actually <laughs> I actually thought about this um pretty often in recent mm -hmm. recently this year speaking. Um but <clears throat> it just kinda I just wanted to want people to know like one like for my legacy just kind of who i was as a person mm -hmm. and that i was a kind generous soul and that even when i could barely provide for myself that didn't stop me from providing for others mm -hmm. and yeah. that's one of the biggest things because um no matter what it is like if anyone needs help doing anything like i'm always going to make sure that i if i can provide and if i can help in any way shape or form i'm going to do that 
right. because that's what I've seen from my parents and that's what I've been I've <clears throat> been taught to do. Um, mm. I've seen my parents go above and beyond for ev- everybody and anybody. Um, and that goes even beyond family. So, um, yeah, anything that I can do for somebody, I don't need anything in return. Like, that's right. not what I'm saying. But, like, uh, if you need help and I can help you, I'm going to help you. Right, right, right. I feel like just as Kobe, you know, you got the mama mentality. I feel like we each have our own mentality that's that's going to be left. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and I feel like it should all stand for something. And I think from you, just hearing yours, it's like, yo, like, be there for for the next person mm-hmm. like that's that's the j dot mentality like be there for the next person and, and genuinely be there for them you know what I'm yeah. saying? yeah yeah the the most fortunate thing I, I think i'm able to experience is having kids young <laughs> right and watching my kids hit this age where now they could carry my message right right mm-hmm. where it's no longer about me but my last name and what my family stands for mm-hmm. for example like with my daughter I tell her, you know, you're here to change the world, right? Mm -hmm. And whether she knows what that means or what I'm trying to say, I say, you know, you're an angel, right? And you know that everything you touch, everyone you involve yourself with, you're here to change the world. Mm -hmm. And whatever that young mind and imagination decides to do with that is what I'm trying to leave here. You know what I'm saying? So when my son is at a super college or getting his, whatever he decides to do, he's going to sit there and be like, my dad always told me. Mm. this my Mm -hmm. dad always told me that like you know Mm -hmm. whether i'm gone whether i'm here whether i'm in the stands you know what i'm saying like i always teach my seeds like even my youngest one my smallest one i tell them all they're perfect Mm -hmm. i tell them they're perfect and i tell them that um there's nobody in this world like you Mm -hmm. and i really just dissect their minds where i don't care if they're in tune on their phone i look at them and i'll be like i'll be like you you know you were born for a reason right Mm -hmm. and can you can't imagine my dad never told me that yeah. when I was growing up, Same. Right. you know? So what would I have done with that? Right. Mm-hmm. You know? Right. Right. So then now that I could do that, I literally, I fuck them up. I mm-hmm. fuck them up in their head. They're mm-hmm. like, what do you mean? I was like, yeah, you're here to change the world. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. That's huge. That is huge. That's, that's, that, that's huge. No. Man, literally. <laughs> like, and they're 14, 12, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And then like, so, and I keep repeating it to them. Mm-hmm. Every time, even when they mess up, when they mm-hmm. lie, when they break some, I just re-remind them so then they hit this refocus so when they're alone, how many times we've been alone and not know where to go? Right. But then if they had me keep saying it, like you're mm-hmm. here to change the, don't say you don't know why you're here. Mm-hmm. Right. Don't say you're lost. Right. Because I done told you what you're supposed to be doing here. Yeah. You're here to help. You're here to just be a prime example of what a human being is supposed to. These are these are exact words I tell them, and they just be like, "Right, right. yeah." You don't really know yeah. what you're saying, but yeah. I, I yeah. appreciate yeah. you saying it. Like it feels cool. Like, when I hit the age where I do know what, that's gonna be like, "Right, that's Light what the ball. fuck that, he yeah. was talking that about." Part, you know, part, that part, that mm-hmm. part. I think that's funny because my mom pretty much did the same thing. Like, that's beautiful. Every single day. I mean, mom. The shout out to my mom, by the way. Shout out to <laughs> Mama she, Major. True, man. She used to tell me daily. The, the one thing that she used to tell me daily is, "You're Brandon Brown, a child of God. Don't ever say your name anything less or anything otherwise. Like that is who you are." And growing up, I'd be like, "Yo, I ain't never want to say this, bro. Why I gotta say this long, bro? What? Like, <laughs> think about what? how amazing it sounds bro. now, bro. Like nowadays, like I yesterday, the other day, I do. I work with this uh, with Justice for Youth, and I do a beats program, and um. I had them do a Dear Me poem. So it was basically a Dear Me to my younger self. Um, writing to the younger self saying like, hey, like we got this far. Like, let's keep going. Ooh. Like, And and they they like enjoyed it. So I started mine off like, dear Brandon, um, you're Brandon Brown, a child of God. And they asked me, they're like, yo, why'd you write that? And I was like, because that's who my mom told me who I was. That's awesome. So I stand on that. That's and they awesome. were literally like, yo, like. I'm going to write that too. And I was like, <laughs> bro, like, you a for me, like, little boy. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, man, like my mom instilled something in me so that I could instill something in the next person. Yeah. And, and for me, that was huge, bro. Like, and, and as a parent, I applaud you, bro. Like mm-hmm. that is dope. Bro. Thank you, man. Like those affirmations literally will change the world for a child. Yeah. Bro. Yeah. yeah. Nobody else is going to tell them that. Nobody else. Nobody else. Them. Nobody else. You, you, you listen to all the great speakers that we have in our world today, mm-hmm. you know? Kanye West, prime example. His mother, bro, bro. was so enthusiastic. Of, like, you gotta watch it. That's great, Kanye. I'm, I'm gonna watch it. That's I'm the watch best, it. Kanye. I'm gonna watch it. I'm just, and I was like, man, I'm so glad I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing as a father. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, I may have left their moms. I may have not been there every single day, but every single moment I am with them, bro, I instill greatness. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I make sure that 
I told my son one day, I'm not here for you to like me. You know, mm -hmm. I'm not here to tell you things you're going to like. I'm here to be your dad. Mm -hmm. And that is so grand, bro, because mm -hmm. I never really fuck with my parents, but they were always, they made me an owner. I'm like, you know, they're like, right. and it is just like, they gave me tough love. They they like, and, and, and I'm like, I'm way harder on my boys than with yeah. my girl. I'm just mm -hmm. like, maybe it's okay. You know, don't worry about it. Boom, boom, boom. Because that's how I need the man in her life to treat her. Right. Right. You see what I'm so saying? That's absolutely. From, from the start. You know? yeah, absolutely. But with my boys, mm -hmm. we got a tough ass world here, mijo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Shut that shit up. You crying? Wipe them off. It's okay mm -hmm. to be sad, but run it up and get, get rid of that feel. Right. Quick, right. quick, quick. Yep. You know, right. my son just got stitches in his eye, bro. Mm hmm big ass stitches he gets in the car he's crying his nut off and I, and I get it and I'm looking at him I was like hey mijo it doesn't hurt right now it hurt when it happened stop crying mm -hmm. it stopped hurting already and I'm sure he had a little pain but it doesn't right. hurt as much yeah. stop it he's only three and he's like eat it up mm -hmm. eat it up and he's just like okay that right there the next if a woman breaks his heart mm -hmm. same thing he's gonna remember in his head bro mm -hmm. hey that hurt then but toughen it up brush yeah. it off move forward mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying right and Damn, I wish I had that when I was bro. a kid, bro. Yeah. You know? Yeah. 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 It's always nice to I think I think that's amazing because a lot of times people they just stop at the first part to where it's like, no, stop. Like don't don't cry mm -hmm. or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Like just eat it up. <clears throat> but they never get the second part to where it's like, it's okay. You're supposed to feel that way. I want you to feel that. Mm -hmm. So that way you don't have it and it just stays bottled up. Let it out. But what I was told once was like, okay, I'm gonna give you I've been told a couple times, but I'll give you like a certain times, like fifteen minutes, or I'll give you like the, I'll minutes. give you the day, or like you right. know, the, rest the, of the day, day is what I've gotten. And to. you yeah. can you can yeah. soak it, you can do what you want, however you want to handle it. But you have that day. When I see you tomorrow, it's that done, subject. it's gone, and you're mm -hmm. moving. You're figuring out mm -hmm. ways now how to move from, move on from that, or improve from whatever it was, yeah, or like right. just move on. And right. uh, I think that's huge. So, Thanks. yeah, yeah. yeah. applaud you for real, for real. Yeah. Like, yeah. I applaud you for bug, man. And we got a little. Did that one? Yeah, yeah. man. I thought I there. Thank you, Justin. Appreciate it. Yeah. Remember the exact button it was, too. I, I would have forgot. That's the only you button You might have got some crickets from me, bro. It would have been, oh, shit. Oh, my bad, my bad. <laughs> it would have been all bad. It would have been all bad. Yeah, man. But, you know, that's yeah, huge. Man. That's, dope, that's huge. Man. Definitely didn't expect our conversation to go into the fatherly talk, man. Hey, but you know, great yeah. men got to talk about great things. You know bro. what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I hope you pop some out soon, both y'all, man. Oh, that's that's man. that. And you know, I, I was wait. just talking to my, <laughs> my my boy Alex about that. You know, we are here to be uh, fruitful, and we are here to mm -hmm. leave our legacy, like it's uh, uh and and pass it down. You know, right. I, I believe back in the day, people used to say, "Oh, you know, you have rich parents. You're lucky." Boom, boom, boom. Well, my parents are immigrants. They used to have leaves on their plants, and they got themselves here, right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to make sure my kids don't live anything. I have. They don't work mm -hmm. at no fast food restaurants. Mm -hmm. I talk to them about that now. My son has stocks now. Sheesh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I tell him, you are not here on this earth to be a worker. Mm -hmm. You are here to be a leader and an owner. Mm -hmm. Right. You know what right. I'm saying? And 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 I'm telling you, man, when great men think like this, it's your responsibility to have kids mm -hmm. for the rest of the world to proceed. Because if our mind ends here, what are we leaving them? Yeah. That's facts. No, facts. You know what I'm saying? That's facts. And that's why, like, I, there, there's never a right time to have kids. I'm not even trying to put that on you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but I'm just saying, as men, it is our due diligence to leave something and to embed it mm -hmm. in this earth. So when we're gone, it's still still here just still permanently growing. stuck here and you have these great <laughs> human beings talking in a manner where it's just like god damn bro mm -hmm. where did you hell you get this like honestly i don't know where this comes from that's why i say yeah. it's all god it's all god, it's all god. And it's all god. my mark is this my duty in life is to leave this whether if it's a mark with fucking 600 views six million views <laughs> mm -hmm. every person i talk to they're gonna leave this place and be like god damn mm -hmm. yeah that's why i'm here yeah that's why i'm here jeez that's just dropping gems for everybody. Today. No, for real. Uh, no, but there's been real, a lot of gems dropped in this episode. Oh man, sheesh, sheesh. Well, oh man, Justin, do you want to give us our motivational a minute? Motivational minute, Ooh. absolutely. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, we got to we gonna get the button, bro. bro. <laughs> motivation, don't stop. All right. bro. Oh man. So today, our motivational minute is. Healing doesn't mean the damage never existed. It means the damage no longer controls our lives. Sheesh. So. I like it. I like it. Yeah. So that's a little something for you guys to 
right. sit on, ponder with, interpret yeah. how you wish to interpret. But right. just remember that whatever pain that we went through yesterday does not have to be the pain that defines us today. Right. I think that just, for me, it just sparked a whole bunch of things. But we can't let our feelings dictate the way we act. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Because feelings are so fluid and they move so much and so. you may not feel the same way. right right right, right. Like so fear feel, fear can't stop you mm -hmm. like happiness shouldn't slow you down too much nothing like <laughs> wrong button <laughs> legend <laughs> wrong button <laughs> I thought it, you saw me trying to press the yellow one. It's cool. But yeah, man. Oh, yeah. Man. So once again, Legend, um, I appreciate having you on the show. Mm -hmm. It was dope as always. Hey man. You are you already fam. It bro. has it, so, it, it, so it has it has been a pleasure to be here. And whoever else comes on here, I hope you guys take it as as serious as I do, you know, because I I I'd talk the same way if I was on Joe Rogan's podcast or anything, because I hold you that highly, bro. And and uh just keep growing, man. Keep doing what you're doing and, and, and um, keep it running, man. Yeah. For sure, man. That's definitely what we're going to do. We we appreciate you, man. Once again, you made history on the show today. So Absolutely. let's go. We That's had an fine. Eminem moment. Yeah, we had an Eminem. <laughs> Mom spaghetti. Okay, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Let's go. Yes, sir. So yeah. with that, absolutely. Self made studios, self -made baby. Self made studios. Let them know, legend. More than a voice. Thank you guys. Make sure That's you guys legend. like, subscribe, no comment to the podcast. We appreciate y'all for tapping in. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Legend. Todo con Dios. Shout out to Alex. Shout out to B Major. And we're gonna see you guys next time. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We outy.